Over Easter holidays, one time at university, I was just Googling frantically for internships. So many came up, obviously, and all of them competitive. And then this one just appeared in the depths of Google, Old Castle Books, based in Harpenden. So they just said, there's a one month unpaid internship. I applied for it, had an interview with them. They said, sure, come along in the summer. So I did one month in the summer. And then I went back again for a three month paid internship. And during that time, the marketing and publicity woman before me um, left. And I was just there at the right time. I had been doing the job pretty well <laughs> and so I took her position and I've been there since. If you were doing an internship I would advise to be super enthusiastic. Sometimes you won't be doing the most exciting of roles. I did things like putting catalogues and envelopes at my very first internship. It wasn't thrilling but it's on your CV. It shows that you're determined, that you want to get into the industry and gradually as you do more then you'll get given more roles with responsibility and yeah, I'd just be really enthusiastic. Try your best, put in the extra hours if you can, just show that you really want to be there and people will respond to that. In a small press, normally, normally in a larger press I should start, um, your main responsibilities would often be split in different departments, like a marketing department and a publicity department. But what I consider the advantages of being in a small publishing firm is that I get to combine those roles together. So I'll be doing things like contacting press, radio, TV to organise interviews or reviews of our books, interviews with our authors, features and the like. I'll also be contacting bookshops, organising events, if we're going to do a launch, deciding where we're going to do that. Um, and then I'm working quite closely with um, the commissioning editor of our firm um, to decide how many copies of books we should be printing and where they should be going, how we're going to make the public aware of that book. Um, I'll also be doing a few digital things like working with our website, um, working on blog tours. They, they've become quite popular recently where an author will do um, different interviews or articles on a range of blogs and then we'll promote it as a blog tour. So a huge range of things. It's basically getting the book to be known by the public, to be in the press as much as possible and hopefully getting some sales at the same time. <laughs> I think the most interesting part of my job is just meeting so many like-minded people. A good thing about publishing is that you're often, you're not always in the office, like there is a lot of office work to do and organisation etc but you get to go out into the world and even all, all these people you're all competing on a level of trying to get your book into the wider world, get your books sold. It's not as competitive as I think you would get in other industries. And everyone is so friendly. Everyone's so passionate about the industry, passionate about books. You make really good friends. I think the skills that you need in marketing and publicity are it's good time management. You need to be really organised, really on the ball. You're going to be working on several titles at the same time and they all need a good amount of attention and work in order to get into press and to get onto bookshelves, get into people's houses. <laughs> um, you also need to be really enthusiastic and you need to be responsive to your authors because your authors, they're focused obviously on their own books and they want to know that they're communicating with someone who's passionate about their work and is willing to help them in any way to get their work known. At the end of the day, it could be their livelihood or it just could be their passion. And so you need to be really good at communicating with them, responding with them and managing expectations. I love meeting people in the industry because you just get to talk about books, about the campaigns you're working on, all the exciting ideas. It's really creative. I absolutely love working in it. But also meeting people from the public who have read your books. Yesterday, in fact, I got a fantastic email from someone who's a real fan of one of our lines called Pulp the Classics, which takes the unabridged text and gives some really cool, funky retro covers and they're really funny. And she took the time to email us just to say that she absolutely loved them and she stumbled across them in a bookshop and she wants to see more. And that's really rewarding because you, you feel like the work that you've put in has really paid off and you're brightening someone's day. Oof, it's such a hard question to change one thing about my job. Um, 
I really just wish I had more time. <laughs> like I said earlier, there's just so much to do. You have to be so on the ball. I just wish there was an extra day because we have so many titles and I want to do the best that I can do for all these authors. I would just really encourage anyone who wants to get into publishing to just try and get as much experience as possible. Um, and it doesn't even have to be in a publishing industry. You can do things like setting up your own blog, just making sure you're reading industry magazines like the bookseller or book to book um, and just get inside the industry even if you're not working there to begin with. And when you're interviewed, just really convey that enthusiasm. Everyone who goes into publishing is going to love books, so you need to have something else that stands you apart. And show, putting in the effort whilst you're in school or at university or whatever you do really pays off at the end of the day. Thank you.